All right, guys, it's been a few weeks since the biggest free agent signing of this NBA offseason, LeBron James going to the L.A. Lakers. And I didn't want to talk a little bit about that decision more. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about how good I think the Lakers are going to be now that they have LeBron James. I actually think it's a pretty interesting topic. And I think we'll see a Lakers team that's pretty exciting and, and we'll see how many games they win. So just before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about the decision by LeBron James. He goes uh, there because he gets to be, he has his family going to school there. He has, uh, he's going to be producing films. Uh, he has Space Jam 2 going to come out. LeBron also produces a lot of things. Uh, there's Those are some of the major reasons he chose to go to L.A., a lot of family reasons. And it's going to be in interesting to see how much that affects his, his game. Is he going to be... Uh, 100% focused. I believe that LeBron is just going, he's just, his work ethic is unmatched. But it'll be interesting to see how well he's able to juggle kind of that Hollywood stuff with the NBA, whether, uh, how much he's able to do during the season, m not very much, or if, is he going to try to be doing things while he's in LA and during his rest period? Is that going to keep him rested for the rest of the rest of the season? It'll be interesting to see. I don't think it affects him that much, but it will be interesting. Because one of the things we know about LeBron is he comes from the Eastern Conference. He's always been in the Eastern Conference. And by coming to L.A. and coming to the Western Conference, there's no easy parts of the season. There's no, like, two-week break you can take to go get rested and go take a, two weeks off in Miami like he did that one season. Uh, you can't, and you can't take, there's no easy games. Like, there's no Detroit night on a Thursday where you can kind of coast through. Or the Orlando Magic or or any of these teams in the Eastern Conference that just aren't as tough of tough of games and you can kind of coast through the game. In the Western Conference, you've got Golden State on Thursday. You've got Houston Rockets Saturday. You've got Utah Jazz on Monday. You've got Th Oklahoma City Thunder on Wednesday. And the list goes on and on. I mean, even the bad teams in the West are better. You look at Phoenix, who just got three great draft picks. You look at uh, just the lower end teams in the West Conference are are tough in and of themselves because to make it into the playoffs, you've got to be really good in the Western Conference. It's not the same as the East. So that's going to be interesting to see how well the Lakers do with LeBron James. They'll obviously be better, but the competition is going to be tougher. And it'll be kind of, in all honesty, I'm excited to see how good LeBron James does in the Western Conference. That's kind of been one of those questions. How does LeBron stack up against tougher competition? Um. So last season, the Lakers win about 35. They won 35 games, 35 and 47. They finished 11th in the Western Conference. Uh, the Lakers were actually pretty interesting last year, and I think they actually could have been a little better if Lonzo Ball didn't have so many injuries. It'll be interesting to see if he can stay healthy because Lonzo helps that team win. And I actually feel like, so you, we all know that LeBron goes to the Lakers and they make some kind of interesting free agent signings. I guess I can see a little bit why, but Rajon Rondo, Lance Stevenson, uh, pick up some guys that bring kind of a veteran presence. I, I don't know. It's the veteran presence helps. And I know LeBron likes to have kind of that older presence on the team and that maturity. Although I don't know if that's the case with Lance and Rondo at all times, but they're also not great shooters. And the thing with LeBron, and I know that when he goes there, he will, well, we'll talk about it in a minute, but he needs the ball in his hand to be at his most effective because of his ability to penetrate and pass and and score. And LeBron has said that he's going to L.A. He wants to turn into a post player or players that can play around him with him in the post. And that's interesting. So if that's the case, then Rondo is as good as anyone at getting entry passes to the post. And then LeBron playing kind of out of the post will be interesting. Basically, LeBron is going to turn into Carl Malone in some ways, I guess, uh, which is kind of makes sense he's he's actually the same size and weight as Carl Malone which is incredible to think about just his athleticism over his career so he can play kind of that Carl Malone role play out of the post uh drive power his way to the basket and hit open shooters on the wing uh I actually think that the young talent around LeBron James uh like the Josh Hart who has looked phenomenal in in uh uh, summer league this year and also the end of last year was just balling shooting like 40 percent from three josh hart's a steal by the way for the lakers that's frustrating uh for other teams who missed on him but josh hart brandon ingram i think has a chance to be really really good uh and kyle kuzma 
So you've got three really nice young players, and I may be forgetting other players. Morris, the Wagner kid, the German kid from uh, Michigan, looks really nice in summer league as well. Might have been a steal. This team actually has some really interesting pieces, and you put LeBron James on any team, they're going to be better. But they win 35 games last year. I think LeBron James is easily good for 10 to 15 wins on your team. So you're looking at the the Lakers winning between 45 and 50 games. But it does come back to that thing. How focused Le is LeBron James going to be in a Lakers uniform? Is he going to be able to stay as focused? Is, is Father Time going to catch up with LeBron James at some point this year? Because he is getting older. Uh, LeBron James is incredible. He's an alien. I think, I, I don't know, this might be his last four years. And you know that LeBron is going to bring it all in those last four years. And he might be able to extend his career if he becomes kind of that post-heavy player and not as much run and run the show. And if, if LeBron James can be just patient with this Lakers team and allow Kuzma and Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram to just develop and grow around him, they have a chance to be really interesting and really fun and maybe very good. You never know. The final thing is the Kawhi Leonard question. This may be a little early. We may need to do another Lakers preview in a few months because who knows, maybe the Lakers find a way to trade for, for Kawhi Leonard. I would say that trading for Kawhi Leonard is a good bet. You never know what happens. We all know what happened with Paul George. He was going to go to the Lakers. The Oklahoma city thunder make the trade for Paul George. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, you miss out on that top tier free agent. And I wonder if the Lakers are thinking about that, if they don't want to give Kawhi a chance to go to another team and have a great experience and experience winning in a new environment that he likes, you don't want to miss out on that. And so, although here's the thing, LeBron James, and you can read all the reports. It looks like LeBron knew he was going for years. And it kind of sounds like the same thing is going on with Kawhi. If the Lakers knew that that LeBron was coming and they know that Kawhi is doing, they honestly, and this sounds weird, should wait one season to get Kawhi Leonard. Because Kawhi coming for free as a free agent means you don't have to get rid of any of your young talent. Or if you do want to make a trade with your young talent, you can trade those away and still get Kawhi Leonard and maybe find another piece that fits even better. Uh, I personally think Lonzo Ball is, really, is going to be really good. I think Brandon Ingram has a chance to be really special. And... And uh, Josh Hart and Kyle Kuzma are just really, really high-level role players. And those players can just grow around LeBron, and their youth can kind of make up for the fact that he might start being on a little bit of the downturn. Even though a, little, a downturn from LeBron is like 24 points and 7 rebounds and 6 assists or whatever, which is better than anyone else in the league anyway. Uh, which is frustrating. Like, how'd you get him? Oh, it's not fair. But that's okay. Anyways, guys, like and subscribe this video. We're going to start doing some season previews of different teams. I'm going to do research, do my best, so that the comments, you don't say mean things to me. And we can have fun instead of saying not nice things in the comments. Urgh. Anyways, like and subscribe this video, you guys. I will talk to you later.